Hi guys, Daz here with another episode of my showcase series. This time is episode 37, and today I will be showcasing the Marvel titled Key Issue comic books in my personal collection. If you've been following my channel, I now run a poll on my community page. And this time I had 19 votes, which was fantastic. And I gave the options of Daredevil, X-Men related keys, or Marvel, or Marvel titled books. And 32% went with Daredevil, 32% went with X-Men related books, and 36% went with Marvel titled books. So it was very close this time around, guys, but the Marvel titled books have won out, and I've got a ton of great keys to show you guys. Three big paws, I'll get through them as fast as I can. Let's go. Starting with all new Marvel Now Point One. We all know the book, guys. It's a big one. It's the first full appearance of Kamala Khan as Miss Marvel. And, uh, of course, she is getting her own TV show, is Kamala Khan. And uh, I paid £30 for this copy. Nice copy. I bought this in the back end of 2019 in the Out of This World comic shop in Worcester. Up next, we've got a bit of Marvel Age. And this is Marvel Age issue 97 there's a lot of buzz about this character still this is the first appearance of christopher powell who later becomes dark hawk it's kind of like a preview appearance but um it goes for a bit of coin this one i paid one pound fifty for this i found it in a cheltenham uh oxfam shop so uh happy days with that one it's the only copy of this one i think i've ever found as well dark hawk has been speculated on a lot at the moment it started off as a bit of a novelty character and then people just kept buying it and now the prices have started to rise. I've had a few copies of uh, Dark Hawk number one. Up next, we've got Marvel Boy, issue number one. And this is the first appearance of Marvel Boy, who is Navar. It's also the first appearance of Star Splendor, mother of Navar. And the first appearance of Captain Glory. I picked this one up because Marvel Boy is a character in my encyclopedia and if you know me, I like to tick them off in my book. Paid £2.50 for this in the middle of last year, again in Worcester. This book has had a lot of heat. This is Marvel Chillers, nice Bronze Age book, issue number one. And this is the first appearance and origin of Mordred the Mystic. And uh, it's the first appearance of a character who was really hot due to one division that is a uh, Shoithon, who uh, is referred to as the Other. And I paid £3 for this copy in the middle of 2019 at the local antique centre. Can't beat those Bronze Age books, can you? Well, silver is what I love. Sticking with Marvel Chillers, we've got issue three. And this is the third appearance and origin of Tigra. This was a fun read. Good character, Tigra. It was Greer Grant Nelson. Now we're going on to some Marvel Comics Presents. And at first we got issue 14. Paid 150 for this. Now this is the first appearance of Ramonda. And she is the mother of Black Panther. Of course she has been in the MCU. Then we have Marvel Comics Presents issue 19. And this is the second appearance of the Damage Control Team. Well, basically their first full appearance. £3 for that one, middle of 2018 at the Collectomania, Birmingham. Up next, issue 26, and this is the first appearance of a villain called Cold Blood. It was Eric Sabin, he and Eric Sabin appeared in the Iron Man 3 movie. Not the greatest of movies, but, you know, solid. Up next, we jump in to issue 72. And this is the first appearance of the Weapon X program, of course, that was alluded to in firstly in the X-Men 2 movie. We saw it in the uh, Wolverine Origins, which I'm currently watching with my boy Ethan. The Apocalypse movie and the Logan movie. Pound for that one off the legendary card book, Tony. Issue 73, again from Tone, is the origin of the Weapon X program. Then we jump to issue 80, 
Again, another origin of the Weapon X program. Delves a little bit deeper. £2.59 for that in Shooksbury. Issue 85. And this is the first appearance of Cyber, who is a Wolverine villain. And that is, he is Silas Burr. £2 for that in the local antique centre. And a big jump to issue 118. And this is the first appearance of Doom 2099. Doom, uh, Doom 2099 had his own Marvel series at one point. That is Victor Von Doom, of course. Will I pay for that one? Two quid, again in Shootsbury. And then we have a, a more recent Marvel Comics Presents. And this is issue one. And the reason I picked this one up, this is the first appearance of Brett Mahoney. Now, Brett Mahoney was a live-action character that appeared on the Netflix Marvel shows. Daredevil, Punisher, and Jessica Jones, my favourite show. Then we get a couple of fanfare books. Issue 11, we all know this one, guys. This is the first appearance of the Iron Maiden, who is uh, Melina Vostokov, a female assassin, an enemy of Black Widow, who is going to be in the Black Widow movie. It's also the first appearance of Enkama. Paid £5.75 for this copy. It's a nice one. Bought this one on Amazon, believe it or not, online. But uh, I have had another copy of that as well. Then we have issue 12, and this is the first cover and second appearance of the Iron Maiden. Also the first appearance of Snapdragon. It was uh, Shiok Sanada. Pound for that one in Western. Again, I've had two copies of that. Issue 43, another character in my encyclopedia. This is the first appearance of Patience Drew. Nice cover, that. Then we have Marvel Knights 2001 Millennial Visions. And this is the first like appearance as such as uh, of the a Punisher Ghost Rider mashup. If you can say up here, there we go. People were alluding to that as the Cosmic Ghost Rider. Uh, pound for that one in Western. Up next, we got a, a modern book of sorts. This is Marvel Legacy issue one. I picked this one up in a grab bag for fifty p. This is the first appearance of the Avengers. Um, BC or 1 million BC. Agamotto, Black Panther, Iron Fist, Lady Phoenix, Starbrand, Odin, and Ghost Rider. Then we got a reprint. This is a decent one. This is Marvel Marstone Edition. The Amazing Fantasy. Of course, issue 15 and the first appearance of Spider Man. I have the facsimile as well in my collection. But, uh, yeah, happy to have that. Paid 50p for that. It's as close as I'll ever get to the big fella. Up next, we've got Marvel Now, point one, issue one. This is the first appearance of Miss Thing, who was Darla Deering. Another character in my encyclopedia. 98p for that one, in an Oxfam bookshop. Here's a nice book. I've had so many of these. This is Marvel point one, the one-shot. This is the first appearance, we all know it, of uh, Sam Alexander, the Nova. It's also the first appearance of the second Scarlet Spider was Kane Parker. And the first appearance of the Exterminated team. Of course, uh, Sam Alexander has been confirmed to be in the MCU at some point by Kim Feige. Paid £3.18 for that nice copy. Um, picked that up in Cardiff at the Comic Guru. Had to pick this one up. Nice book. Marvel Premiere now. Issue 19. And this is the first appearance of Colleen Wing, who was in Iron Fist, The Defenders, and the Luke Cage TV show. There was also an advertisement of Hulk 181 in this, uh, the first appearance of Wolverine. And it's got the Marvel stamp number six, Thor included in it. Paid £8 for that, mid-grade. Enjoyed the Colleen Wing character. You know, Iron Fist season one was pretty lacklustre, but... Season 2, I quite enjoyed. This was a lovely final. What do I pay for this? 50p. This is a Marvel premiere. And this is issue 28. Iconic cover, I think. This is the first appearance and origin of the Legion of Monsters team. i got a feeling we might see that one day on screen. This is Ghost Rider, Man-Thing, Morbius, and Werewolf by Night. It's also the first appearance and death of Starseed. Yeah, 50p for that. That's easily... a. A £30 plus book. 
pick it up at the Cluster Con. Um, next, Marvel Premiere issue 31, and this is the first appearance of Wood God. £1.50 for that. Issue 35, and the thir first appearance and origin of 3D Man, who was a uh, Charles Chandler. £3.10 for that on eBay. Issue 45 I picked up in Stroud, in a like an antique centre. 258 I paid. And this is the first appearance of the Other Realm, a world in outer space of sword and sorcery. It's also the origin of Man Wolf. It was uh, John Jameson, of course. Man Wolf is rumoured to be coming to screen at some point. Big book now. And uh, I won this in a fantastic competition from uh, the great YouTuber Joker68. This is Marvel Premiere issue 47. We all know this iconic cover, don't we? This is the first appearance and origin of the second Ant-Man in costume, Scott Lang. I've also got Scott Lang's first appearance in an Avengers book. It's also the first appearance of Cassie Lang, who was uh, in the MCU as well. That's uh, the daughter of Scott Lang and becomes Stature and Stinger. And, bang for your buck, the first appearance of Darren Cross, who was the villain in the first Ant-Man film. Like I say, for free, happy days. Big book. Won that in November 2018. Up next, issue 52. And this is where Black Panther is versus the Ku Klux Klan. Paying for this one at Carabout in Gloucester. Issue 57. I actually picked this one up because I wanted to get it signed by John Wagner. Uh, but uh, the con fell through. This is the first appearance of Doctor Who in American comics. Okay. Good issue to have. £3.6 for that. And we have Marvel Presents. My only one of Marvel Presents. This is issue number one. The first appearance and origin of Ulysses Bloodstone. Uh, gained immortality after absorbing an alien object into his chest to save his people. It's also the first appearance of the blood gem that he uses, which is a magical artifact. £1.83 for that one. Nice Bronze Age book. November 2017. Couple of modern ones. We've got Marvel Rising, issue zero. And uh, this is the first appearance of Ember Quaid. Okay, but she's only on the cover. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Ember Quaid, the cover We've only got the characters on the cover. They are not in the interiors of this book, sorry. 199 for that one. I was going for some coin at one point. And then to follow on with that, we've got Marvel Rising issue number one. And this is the first appearance of the emulator, who was formerly Ember Quaid. So she Ember Quaid in that previous issue, and now she's the emulator in this. Now we've got a big book. It's low grade, but it's complete and it's mine. Marvel superheroes, and this is issue 13, guys. We all know the book. This is the first appearance of Carol Danvers, yeah. Uh, Carol Susan Jane Danvers, who later becomes Binary, Warbird, Miss Marvel, and now Captain Marvel, of course, in the MCU. It's also the second appearance of Captain Marvel, who is Marvel. Big issue. What did I pay for that one, by the way? £47.50, it's probably about a 3.0, but hey, I had to get it. Sticking with Marvel Superheroes, a character in my encyclopedia, this is issue 16, and this is the first appearance and origin of the Phantom King, uh, Phantom Eagle, sorry. Love this cover. And the Phantom Eagle is Carl Kaufman. He was an originally a Golden Age character, but this is his first appearance in the Silver Age. Oh, sorry, uh, Bronze Age, I guess. Bronze Age. £5.50 for that one. And then I had to get this one. I've got the original uh, Daredevil issue 4, but I never thought I'd ever get that book. So in the prior to that, I had Marvel Superheroes issue 24. And this uh, reprints, of course, the first appearance of The Purple Man. £2 I paid for this. It reprints from Daredevil issue 4, Strange Tales 94, and X-Men issue 5 in this issue. Love that cover. Okay, and then we're on to uh, some Secret Wars books. And up first, we've got uh, issue four. Paid £1.50 for this. Just part four of the Secret Wars storyline that I think uh, we may see at some point. 
issue six. And this is the first cameo appearance of the second Spider-Woman, Julia Carpenter and the Death of the Wasp. Part six of the storyline. Issue seven, the first full appearance of the second Spider-Woman, Julia Carpenter. And it's the first battle of She-Hulk versus the second Titania, who is Mary McPherson. Part seven of the storyline. My final pile of books, guys, and we're going to start it with a biggie. Another win from Joker 68. It was a fantastic prize package. Honestly, guys, if you ever want to look back through my competition playlist, you'll see what I won. It was fantastic. This is Marvel Superheroes Secret Wars issue 8, guys. Yeah, I won this for free. And uh, see, I've never found this book in the world, so I was delighted. The origin of the black symbiote costume that becomes Venom. This is the second appearance of Spider-Woman. Uh, Julia Carpenter. Now Spider-Man's new black costume is explained as an alien costume and the Spider-Man's black costume first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man issue 252, Marvel Team-Up 141 and Spectacular Spider-Man issue 90 which were all published in May of 1984, seven months uh, before the release of Secret Wars 8 in December. However, in Marvel's continuity, the events in Secret Wars 8 take place before the other issues, okay? So to get that for free, it's got a bit of a corner crease, but uh, it's a solid mid-grade book. I'm delighted to get that. I won some uh, autographs as well. I won, won an autograph of Linda Carter and um, the guy who plays the Punisher, I can't even think. But, uh, John Berthel, is it? He plays, uh, he's in The Walking Dead as well. So following on from issue 8, I've got issue 10. Nice cover there by Mike Zek. Part 10 of the storyline. My final issue from that run so far is issue 11. Like I say, £1.50 for all these in a shopping straight. This was a lovely uh, eBay stealth buy, and you don't get many of them these days. Uh, this is Marvel Superheroes Winter Special. We all know this book, guys. I paid £10 for this on eBay, which is an absolute steal. This is the first appearance of Squirrel Girl, who is Doreen uh, Green. And the first appearance of Monkey Joe, who is the squirrel. So uh, this includes a gallery of full-page pinups drawn by Jim Starlin in this issue. It's a fun read. £10 for that in the middle of 2019 off of eBay. Okay, now some team-up books. And we're going to start with issue 48. And this is the first appearance of Wraith, who is Brian DeWolf. And Wraith's sister, who is Jean. £2.58 for that. Middle of 2017. Again, Wraith is an encyclopedia character. Uh, nice book next. We've got Team Up issue 65. We all know this one, guys. This is the first appearance of Captain Britain, Brian Braddock in the US. And if rumours are to be confirmed, uh, Henry Cavill, who is no longer going to be with DC, is being lined up to be Captain Britain. So that would be very, very interesting. I'm sad to see him go because I liked him as Man of Steel. Uh, it's also the first cameo appearance of Arcade in this book. £2.58 for that. Nice copy. Then following on, we've got issue 66 and the second appearance of Captain Britain. And the first full appearance of Arcade. And the first appearance of Murder World, an amusement park of deadly traps. 2 50 for that one. Love these covers. Following on, we've got issue 68 and the first appearance of another encyclopedia character in Despair. Despair. It was a, that's a £3.51 uh, from the Birmingham Con. Following on, we've got issue 93. And this is the first appearance of Danzen Macabre, a woman whose mystical dance can hypnotise and even kill those who watch. Again, another character in the encyclopedia. It's a, I love it, you know, I've, I've had these encyclopedias for years now and I'm ticking off every character as I pick them up in the comics. Issue 95, I've got Marvel and DC encyclopedias. Another nice big book here, the first appearance of Mockingbird, it was Barbara Morse uh, Barton. Of course, she appeared in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show. Of course, Barbara first appeared in Astonishing Tales issue 6 from 1971. I have that book in my collection. This is a nice one as well. Issue 100. Now, this is the first appearance and origin of Karma with Zian Koi Mal. 
Now, uh, Karma is the first new mutant to appear in the MCU. Uh, this issue predates the first appearance of the new mutants in Marvel graphic novel issue 4 from 1982 by two years. So that's interesting, I thought. £5.78 for that on eBay. Team Up issue 121 is the first appearance of the Frogman. It was Eugene Paul Colorito Patalio. £2 for that. Keep ticking them off. Issue 131. This was hot for a, quite a while. And this is the first appearance of the White Rabbit. Uh, Lorena Dodson. Pick this one up at the back end of 2019 uh, for £3.50 in Worcester. Can't wait to go back there. They've got some good books. Up next, uh, Marvel 2 in 1. And this is a beat up copy. It's a war damaged copy. But it is issue 1. I overpaid for it. £8 when I was first starting out, and that was in uh, 2017. But hey, it's mine. The first appearance and death of the Molecule Man. Not the Molecule Man from Fantastic Four. This is an artificial construct. Now, the series that teams up the thing with different Marvel characters. Gil Kane and John Romina Jr. Uh, Senior, sorry, cover art. And the text in the black banner near the upper left side of the cover above the issue number very, very clearly reads Marvel 2 on 1. Not Marvel 2 in 1. So, uh, yeah, there we go. It's an error book. It's just, uh, I'm full of these uh, bits of information. <laughs> up next, issue 30. And this book's creeping up in price. This is the third appearance of Spider Woman, Jessica Drew. I really want to get her first appearance. That is high on my radar. I passed on a couple as well for around about 50 quid back in the day at cons. Issue 47, the first appearance of the Machine Smith, formerly Mr. Fear, who is Samuel Star Saxon, 258 for that in a straight. Issue 52 is the first appearance of Crossfire, who is William Cross, and it's a team up of Moon Knight and the Thing. This book can go for some good coin on a good day, 258, just due to the Moon Knight, I think. Issue 53 is the first appearance of the Nith Command Group and the second appearance and origin of Quasar. Wendell Elvis Vaughn shows you how Marvel Man transformed into Quasar. I've got the first appearance of Marvel Man, but I need that Incredible Hulk 234, is it? Where he becomes Quasar. This is, I've just upgraded this copy because this is getting a bit of heat due to the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Whether it pans out, we don't know. This is Marvel 2 in 1, issue 54. First appearance of Titania, who is uh, Davida Davito, later becomes uh, Less Vicious. First appearance of Screaming Mimi. Okay, first appearance of Pound Cakes, Letha. And the first appearance, now this is why he's uh, getting hot. The first appearance of the Grapplers team and female wrestling team. Apparently a banner has been shown with the Grapplers uh, in an image from the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I got a feeling we may see them furthermore in the She-Hulk TV show. It's also the death of Deathlock in this uh, book. Just watching Agents of Shield, actually. You know, I never really got on with it to start with, but I'm enjoying it more now. It's come on to Disney Plus. I think I went into it with big ho high hopes, you know, because it, it came straight from the back end of the the big Marvel Cinematic movies, and you were expecting superheroes every show, but that wasn't the case. But there's some good characterization in it. If you just stick with it. Uh, issue 55. It's the first appearance of the second giant man. Formerly Goliath. Bill Foster of course from the Ant-Man and the Wasp movie. Two quid for that one. In uh, Cheeksbury. This one can go for a bit. This is issue 61. And this is the first appearance of her. It was aka Aisha and Paragon. From the Guardians of the Galaxy uh, Volume 2 movie. 167 for that in Bristol. There's two books to go. Up next, issue 64 and the first appearance of the Serpent Squad team, later, who later becomes the Serpent Society. First appearance of Anaconda, Black Mamba, Death Adder and Sidewinder. Two, uh, three pounds for that in Western. And the final book is issue 71, guys. And this is the first appearance of Maelstrom, an inhuman, deviant uh, hybrid. Get there in the end. It's also the first cameo appearance of Death Urge, the uh, Herald of Oblivion. So that's it, guys. A ton of books 
in around about 25 minutes. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe, all that jazz. Check out my showcase playlist, I've got tons of them. And uh, I'll be putting up a poll uh, probably later on this evening. If you want to have a go, vote and I'll show off the books. Bye.